the 2030 mining in Daba is wrapping up today. And we caught up with Ahmed Khaled Khand, who's CEO of Gekka Mines, for insight into how his company is coping with the transition from government ownership to being a private mining company. We, uh, uh, I am... Um Jika Mine went through that process of transformation since the end of 2010 with new status that is made is managed by a board of directors that take decisions and orientation decisions for the operation and I am the managing director and moving from a government entity to a private entity today managed like a private entity. The biggest difficulty is to adapt text by people. Most of the people who are working for the parastatal are, are used and texts have changed. Habits are still the same. People want to keep them as they were before. When in, maybe even the mentality has to change, uh, get them to move to work as they do in private entities. What are the greatest problems facing uh, mining in the DRC right now, in 2013? The, the biggest problem right now is the access to power. Mining projects are built to bring production to more than a million tons up, uh, in 2015, but that had to be done with access to proper electricity. Right now, we have a deficit. The needs are at approximately 625, 625 megawatts, but we have a deficit of 225 megawatts. If nothing is done, the gap will increase and that will slow down the development. What about the famous uh, expansion of the hydro falls project in the DRC? How far is that? The project is quite advanced in terms of discussions, but to start that has not started on the Inga project. But there are actions that are currently being done by uh, mining entities to rehabilitate the entities, the existing power stations to improve their performances and their production. But that's limited. What is really needed is a bigger investment to get serious and constant electricity access.